Yo, what's going on, Planet S1 family? It's your main man, JD. Thank you for tuning in. This is Drinks with JD. Miriam, <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate you uh, for coming over and sitting down with me on Drinks with JD. Thank I appreciate it. Um, well, since it's our first time sitting down together, uh, can you please introduce yourself to the Planet SON audience? Can you please let them know who you are, where you're from, and what you do? Okay. Hi, um, I'm Miriam Hernandez. I'm from San Diego, California, and I am the creator and owner of LabX. No doubt, no doubt. So um, right now you just mentioned how you're from San Diego, right? Mm -hmm. Now, were you born and raised here in San Diego? Um, I was born um, in San Diego, but I'm from National City originally. Okay. okay. So I've lived most of my life in National City, and then right now I currently live in um, Logan. Oh, okay. That's mm -hmm. what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, when in National City, what schools did you go to? Um, I went to Las Palmas Elementary, mm -hmm. and then I went to National City Middle, and I went to Sweetwater High School. You were red though. Yes. <laughs> All right. No, no. <laughs> now, uh, as a kid, um, were you an artist? Um, yeah. I mean, I, I think I was. I mean, there was like, um, my mom was always making stuff, so it kind of always made me want to make stuff. Yeah. So I would like cut up jeans and turn them into bags. Okay. okay. Or I would make. Um, I would always buy beads. I just mm. have a ton of beads and just make bracelets and rings. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Did, did, uh, did you also do it in school? Like when you were with the Red Devils, did you like try to take an art class or anything like that? Um, no, 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 no art classes. <laughs> Nothing like no, that. No, I didn't do it until um, what was it? Um, so I was in college. Okay, actually, okay. I went to college a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> but every time I went, I went for something my mom wanted me to do. Okay. And then finally, like, yeah, what? what did she want you to do? She wanted me to be a nurse. Okay, she wanted okay. me to be a dentist. She wanted me to be a doctor. But that's awesome, though. It's a good career. It's a good career, but yeah. it's not something I wanted to do. That's right. You know, so it's not something that I wanted to pursue. Yeah. And then I finally was like, I'm going to do whatever I want. Yeah. And um, I started going to um, Mesa Community College. Mm -hmm. And then my counselor put me in, like, um what is it called like to make clothes yeah. instead of like to buy clothes wholesale and then resell wow. um so i learned how to sew wow. i learned how to draw yeah um and i learned how to make patterns which is cool but it's not what i wanted to do yeah. and then after that i went into fashion merchandising wow mm -hmm. i mean that's cool how you just transitioned i mean how you just mentioned how even in high school you weren't into art or no, fashion yeah. or like that but yet you learned it in college. Yeah, I mean, I really wasn't. Like, my mom loved clothes, and yeah. I hated going to the stores. Yeah. Like, I would cry because I didn't want to be there. I was like, oh, my yeah. God, I'm out again. And that lady could shop yeah. all day. Like, yeah. to this day, we could spend, like, eight hours Like, that was her thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. How does she feel now that you're into fashion? Um, She likes it, but she wishes it was a little bit more girly. Okay, okay. Porque, porque no te arreglas. Yeah. And I'm like, estoy arreglada. Yeah. Like, what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> like, you want to go? I, I curled my hair. Yeah. Like, she is that not enough? Drip, yeah. Yes. <laughs> exactly, but exactly. it's never enough for her. No doubt. Yeah. No, no. And what does your dad say about um, your entrepreneurship? Oh, he's so nice. He's like the best. He's the one that actually bought me um, my Cricut to be able to like make my stencils to screen print my shirts. Wait, wait, wait. Talk about the Cricut. What is a Cricut? Oh, so a Cricut, um, everybody started getting, I think, like during COVID because it, it's fun because it lets you do, lets you just make things and be creative, okay. you know? Um, I, it, so the machine is like, it prints out vinyl uh -huh. and then you can heat press it onto like t-shirts or onto a bag. Wow. And then the other type of vinyl, you can make cups. Yeah. Um, what? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Or like signs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then I like it now because I use it for screen, like all make um i'll print out the vinyl yeah and i'll screen print that's what i'm talking so about so i'll use the paint wow. and stuff yeah okay okay yeah but you could do it it's like it's all original designs i mean you can buy stuff that people already have made okay and then just remake it okay, okay. or you could do your original stuff wow yeah okay 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 yeah. so let's talk about labex yes. right your company uh -huh. um what made you want to start labex um well i always wanted to have um a boutique okay i always thought i would have like a plus size boutique okay. when it would be closed yeah i never thought it would be like something latinx expired yeah. inspired like ever i was like oh my gosh like I, it never crossed my mind mm -hmm. and um in 2019 i got laid off 
um, from my job and I, you know, it brought me down really hard and I felt horrible because I'd been there for so many years. Yeah. And, you know, when you want to start a business, you always make excuses. Like, you don't have time, you don't have money. Like, a school system was like... So, finally... Um, there's always something. There's always something. Yeah. But as much as it sucks to hear it in the moment, things do happen for a reason. Of course. You know? And I, I really believe it now after this happened. Yeah. Because had I not lost my job, I would have never, probably never started my business. Wow. You know? Um, so, I, like, went through a little bit of a depression phase for yeah, a couple yeah. of months. And then I told Felipe, I was like, you know, I could probably like, I should do something. I've always been creative. I should make something. Exactly, exactly. And so my cousin, actually, I was just going to ask her if she could just um, make the bags for me. Mm -hmm. But she was like, why don't you come up to LA? I'll show you how to make them yeah. and I'll show you how to use the machine. Okay, then, so you started off with bags first. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. I only did tote bags. That's okay, all okay. I did. Totes and cups. Okay. I used to make cups too. And... Um, I went up there and I didn't expect her to be like, I have like another machine so you can borrow this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, by the way, I'm sorry, Lito. Yeah, yeah. I'll take it back to you soon, I promise. <laughs> it's been like two years. But I promise you I'll take it back. You stole the machine? Oh, that's messed I'm up, I'm Mexican. Man. That is life. <laughs> that is life. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, um, so she lent it to me and I like learned how to use it. I mean, it was a struggle because, you know, it's like learning how to do anything. Yeah. The first time you're going to get upset because yeah. things are going to come out wrong. But you learn from your mistakes so after a while like i kind of got the hang of it and mm -hmm. i was making the tote bags and i the first thing i did was an amate pendeja tote, okay, okay. which know? is which what is, you're wearing right yes. now yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. so and that was your first slogan that was my first slogan okay, okay, okay. Yeah. so that was on the tote bag first that's on tote bag uh -huh. okay, okay so please continue with that tote with the tote first um yeah so it was a tote like i would yeah. go out to logan because they had um la vuelta on wednesdays okay, okay and then um they would have an art crawl on saturdays okay can so, you talk can you talk a little bit about that about like overall La Huerta and then how it also benefits you. Yeah, so, um, well, when I started, La Huerta was like the biggest thing that was going on. Okay. So I would go out every Wednesday. And that's in Logan. It's in Logan. And what street, what street is that? It's right next to Chicano Park, right? Uh, yeah, it's right on Logan Avenue, actually. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but it, like, I did it for a little bit, but then I realized, like, that's kind of like, it's hard to sell during that time. Mm. Um, it's busy Why? and it's great. Why, is that, why do you think it's hard to sell? Um, I don't know. Like, people are there for the cars. Okay. You know? And yeah. I might still... Because it's, it's an atmosphere, right? It's, it's definitely, it's... yeah. It's a vibe. Yeah, yeah. It's there such a vibe. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. And I, it's okay. I'm okay with it not yeah. being my vibe. That's yeah. fine, you know, because I still like it. Of course. Um, yeah. And then, um, but they did have the art crawl. Okay. Which was, I think it was like every, the second Saturday of every month. So what's the art crawl? So we used to have a, a big gallery okay. um, in Olega. And that was like the reason everybody would come by. And wow. then we had a couple of little art galleries. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so people would come by and check out all the art that we had in Logan. Wow. And we would come out and, you know, just sell our stuff. And yeah. that was like a good day to do it. That's what I'm talking about. Um, but now we have um, Walk the Block. Okay. Yeah. So okay. during the pandemic, and that's a different event. That's a overall. completely different. Yeah, okay, it's completely okay, okay. different. Um, so during the pandemic, um, a lot of the businesses were suffering, mm -hmm. and one of the businesses closed. Okay. And so um, we were trying to figure out what we could do to help the community and the businesses. Yes, yes, yes. And so um, Claudia from Soloca, her husband Manny, and um, Alejandra from Shop Simon Limon, okay, um, created Walk the Block. Oh wow! You know, so now it's every Saturday, yeah. and every Sunday. Wow! Yeah, oh, from, wow! Just every Saturday, every every week. Saturday, wow. every Sunday. Okay, yeah, okay, from okay. like 12, 12 to four, twelve to five. Yes. And it's an outdoor event. You know, we have food vendors, mm -hmm. um, clothing vendors. All the shops are open. Wow! Yeah, so it's it's and then pretty cool. And you can cool. get some tacos at and you can get tacos right? at yeah. Salud. You can and get they got border eggs. Yeah, that's yes. awesome. Okay, um, okay. Yeah, and then you can go to Barrio Dog or you can go to Chichia. So there's like you can do anything. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. That's so cool. So uh, overall, it just benefited you and how uh, it pushed you to continue um, your clothing, yeah. right? Forgive me. I want to ask you. I want to ask you to. Uh, I guess let's go back to when your totes. I know we so, veered off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so let, let's let's go back to your yeah, totes yeah. and how like you just started. Okay, so I yeah, I started with the totes. 
a la vuelta yeah, yeah. and it, I would bring down like some of my used clothes yeah. and then try to sell that but then put because I was it was scary you know of putting your things out there mm-hmm. and I'm like well what if nobody buys it what if nobody likes it exactly. so I, I just, think that's what that's what pushes people away yeah right the criticism yeah because like, it sucks it yeah. sucks and it's scary and yeah. I'm just like I'm already like so sensitive to yeah, everything no, for sure um, but, I mean that's that's even for me like let's say this whole drinks of JD thing and just all my videos <laughs> like I'm, I'm there with you, you know, yeah, so, but, yeah. but no matter what, just keep doing it, right? This, uh, but keep this is, like, it. even more crazy, because I'm, like, you talk to, like, a lot of people no, every no. day. <laughs> I'm just, like, I'm already dying with yeah. just today. Well, I guess you could say this is my product, you know what I'm saying? It so is. It's like, it's, so it's, like, I'm pushing it. Yeah. And, and at the same time, some people don't want to do videos because they're scared of criticism. Yeah. Well, overall, like, let's say, I mean, for our product yeah you know so just yeah. keep doing it i mean if people don't like it it's okay thank you but we're just, we're just doing it for <laughs> the people who do like yeah. it right? yeah yeah i like that uh, and for us yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me happy it makes you happy yeah. we're good <laughs> so please tell me about how so you were at oh yeah so we i made the totes and then i would put them at the end of the bar okay and kind of hide them like oh, yeah, well, because i'm yeah. telling you i was really afraid that people wouldn't like them yeah and then i also made little like bags that said for the hoops okay um, Opalos hoops and so you could put your little hoops in there okay. and then those did really well and the the bags did really well and then i was like well what if i make cups yeah and so i started making cups que decían like pinchy monday wow. or like um Pala cruda, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah, coffee yeah. cups, and they did pretty good, yeah. you know. And then little by little, like more people started asking me for a t shirt, like, mm-hmm. when are you gonna come out with the t shirt? When are you gonna... yeah, yeah, and yeah. I was like, I didn't never even thought of that as a possibility, yeah. you know. And I was like, whoa, I mean, soon, I guess. So let's say, let's say with, with your slogans at first, right? Like, I'm a tip and a mm-hmm. and uh, you said, you said the Monday one, Al pinche Monday, okay, and then the cruda, right? Sí, cruda. So, um, how did you come up with that, and like. Like, how did you overall, like, did you have a team or anybody telling you, no. like, yo, this is what's going to hit? This is what's no, gonna... okay, okay, okay. it was like, I would ask Felipe what yeah. he thought, and um, it was just, er, what is it, trial and error. Okay. That's it, trial and error. Like, okay. I would just, I mean, to me, I think Pala Cruz is funny, because, you know, like, yeah. it's just funny. And you said you had that on a, on a mug. On a mug, okay, on okay. A, yeah, it was like an iced coffee cup. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, okay. And then um, Amate Pendeja was just like, you know, it's like a little Latin tough love. Yeah, yeah. Because no, no, it's no, like, no. sometimes you just need that little slap to exactly, like, exactly. be like, despiertate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. But yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, did you ever picture yourself as an entrepreneur? 